in the realm of human consciousness, the concept of wealth transcends mere financial abundance. It's an intricate dance between the material and the spiritual, where the allure of riches often masks a deeper quest for fulfillment. This journey towards understanding wealth isn't just about accumulating resources, but about harmonizing with the universal laws of balance and purpose. The wisdom of ancient sages and modern thinkers converges on this point. True wealth is not measured by what we possess, but by the quality of our inner life and our contributions to the world around us. It's an acknowledgement that while material success can bring comfort and opportunities, it cannot alone satisfy the yearning for a meaningful existence. At the core of human experience lies the quest for contentment, a state often sought through the acquisition of wealth. Yet, the teachings of history's greatest minds reveal a different path. Contentment emerges not from external riches, but from an internal wellspring of gratitude, compassion, and self-awareness. This perspective sees wealth not as a destination, but as a journey of personal growth and self-discovery. The cultivation of inner resources, like wisdom, patience, and empathy, is seen as the truest form of wealth, one that transcends the limitations of time and circumstance. In this view, the richest individual is not the one with the most, but the one who needs the least, finding abundance in simplicity and richness in the act of giving. The concept of legacy in the context of wealth is a testament to the enduring impact of our actions and choices. It's the realization that true wealth is not confined to the material possessions we accumulate, but is deeply rooted in the contributions we make to the tapestry of life. The legacies left by the greatest thinkers and spiritual leaders underscore the idea that our true worth is measured by the positive change we instigate in the world and the lives we touch. The ripple effects of kindness, innovation, and wisdom resonate through time, outliving physical wealth and creating a form of immortality through influence. This understanding prompts a reevaluation of our priorities, encouraging a focus on actions that foster growth, enlightenment, and positive transformation. Wealth, in its truest form, is not an isolated phenomenon, but a collective experience. It thrives in communities where individuals recognize their interconnectedness and work towards the collective good. This concept aligns with the teachings of those who understood that personal wealth gains significance when it contributes to the well-being of society. It's a call to view wealth not as a means for individual gratification, but as a tool for societal advancement. This perspective advocates for the responsible use of resources to uplift, educate, and empower creating a symphony where every individual's success contributes to the harmony of the whole. In this light, wealth becomes a shared journey, a communal endeavor where prosperity is measured not just in personal gains, but in the progress and well-being of the community. Wealth, in its essence, is part of an infinite game where the dynamics of loss and gain are mere episodes in a larger narrative. This view aligns with the philosophical musings of thinkers who saw life as a continual flux, a constant interplay of opposites. In this game, wealth is not a static entity to be hoarded, but a dynamic force that ebbs and flows. It's a recognition that loss and gain are both integral to the human experience, each offering its own lessons and opportunities for growth. Embracing this fluidity, allows for a more resilient and adaptable approach to wealth, one that values flexibility, innovation, and the wisdom to know that what may seem like a setback today could be the foundation of tomorrow's success. The greatest philosophers and mystics often likened the mind to a fertile garden, 
where the seeds of thoughts and beliefs have the power to manifest as external realities. In this metaphor, wealth is not just a material condition, but a state of consciousness. It's the understanding that our external world is a reflection of our internal landscape, and by cultivating positive, empowering thoughts and beliefs, we can attract and create abundance in our lives. This approach to wealth emphasizes the power of intention, visualization, and belief, tools that enable us to align with our highest aspirations and manifest them in the physical world. In the garden of the mind, wealth becomes a natural outcome of inner harmony and focused intent, a testament to the creative power inherent in each of us. Wealth, in its deepest essence, resonates with the harmonies of the universe. It's an understanding that our personal fortunes are inextricably linked to the cosmic dance of creation and destruction. The wisdom of the ancients and the discoveries of modern science converge on this point. Everything in the universe is interconnected, and wealth is a part of this grand cosmic interplay. It's a realization that aligns us with the rhythms of nature and the cycles of growth and decay. In this cosmic view, wealth becomes a reflection of our alignment with these universal patterns, a sign of living in harmony with these universal patterns, a sign of living in harmony with the natural flow of life and energy. It encourages a holistic approach to prosperity, one that encompasses not only material abundance, but also spiritual fulfillment and ecological balance. Wealth, when viewed as a mirror of the soul, reveals much about our inner virtues and values. It's a perspective that sees our external wealth as a reflection of our inner character, our ethics, and our priorities. The great thinkers and spiritual leaders throughout history have emphasized this. True wealth is a manifestation of virtues like integrity, generosity, and wisdom. In this reflection, the accumulation of wealth is not an end in itself, but a means to express and cultivate these deeper qualities. This approach encourages us to use our wealth as a tool for personal development and ethical living, aligning our financial success with our highest values and moral standards. Wealth, in its most dynamic form, is akin to a flame of inspiration ignited by creativity and innovation. It's a concept that resonates with the spirit of inventors, artists, and visionaries who saw wealth creation as an act of imagination and daring. This perspective views wealth as a byproduct of our capacity to think beyond conventional boundaries, to dream big and challenge the status quo. It encourages an entrepreneurial spirit, a willingness to take risks and embrace new ideas. In this light, wealth is not just accumulated. It's created through the power of inspired thought and groundbreaking innovation, a testament to the limitless potential of the human mind. Wealth, in its holistic form, is deeply rooted in the balance of giving and receiving. This approach sees wealth as a dynamic exchange, a flow of energy that enriches both the giver and the receiver. It's a principle that transcends material transactions, encompassing all forms of wealth, including knowledge, time, and emotional support. This perspective is grounded in the understanding that true prosperity comes from a generous heart and an open mind. It encourages us to view wealth not as a finite resource to be hoarded, but as a renewable energy that grows through sharing. In this balanced approach, wealth becomes a tool for building relationships, fostering community, and creating a more equitable and sustainable world. Wealth, with all its allure and complexity, can be likened to a labyrinth of desire. It's a journey that requires navigation through conflicting emotions, societal pressures, and personal aspirations, societal pressures, and personal aspirations. The insights of philosophers and spiritual guides illuminate this path, 
teaching us that wealth is not just a physical entity, but a psychological and emotional landscape. It's a domain where ambition, fear, and longing intersect, presenting both challenges and opportunities for personal growth. This perspective invites us to explore our relationship with wealth, to understand our motivations, fears, and hopes. In navigating this labyrinth, we learn to approach wealth with mindfulness and discernment, using it as a means to cultivate self, awareness, and emotional intelligence.